Hello, boys and girls. This is When You Feel Like It O'Clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. You're also listening to the Steel Flyers podcast. And you're also listening to Flyers Nitty Gritty. And you're listening to all the things that we do because we all do it together, and it's awesome. And I'm glad to have you guys all out there in the, in the land, part of this community as well. Thank you for hitting the subscribe and hitting the bell like you've been doing. It's fantastic uh, growing this great community. Um, we've been doing a series on the first round of the playoffs. Uh, is this the last series we're doing? I think so. I think yeah. we're on the last game here. Now we yep. did all the other ones. You can go check them out. Uh, they're uh, they're pretty cool. And we we're I, I know we're going to do way better than the first round. By the way, Ooh. I uh, not too many people did well in the first round. I looked at all the, the uh, guys yeah that did whatever. I didn't see anybody picking up too many people picking chicago i didn't see anybody picking montreal so but this game here this one series i would i personally would not bet money on this series um we're looking at what i think is going to be a very interesting series of two contrasting teams uh in many ways we're looking at the st louis blues and the vancouver canucks very interesting series in a lot of ways because St. Louis really had to drop down a lot in the seeding to, to play this game and uh, didn't really look all that well in the round robin, did they, Steele? No, no, they didn't. Um, first of all, thanks for having me on. It's a real pleasure to be with the pros. Um, you got the Professor Joe over there and the Pearls of Wisdom sitting over there. If you're not following these guys, you should be. Um, yeah, this, I'll tell you what, it's going to be um, – I think number one, you got the returning champs coming back. Um, they didn't look good at all in the round robin, and in fact, they lost all their games in the round robin. So, uh, but I, I tell you what, if they come out and play really well in the first, I think the first two games, when you start talking playoff hockey, this is the most intense sporting events and in any kind of sport in my opinion and when you start talking playoff hockey i think you you have to put yourself and your team has to be in another level and i think that this potentially because we saw this today with boston boston kind of didn't look real good in the round robin but they played a lot better today they looked a lot better now for granted we had guys coming in late and all that other stuff and we didn't we don't have that in st louis are we going to see that same thing in st louis are we going to see St. Louis flip the switch and go, okay, now these games really count. Now we got, we got to really be doing it. You know what I mean? I'm going to, I'm still going to root for them. I'm still going to pick them um, just because they were the cup uh, finalist and, and they won the cup last year. Uh, it, this is probably, I think going to be one of the most interesting series. And I'm definitely going to say this one's going to go all the way, all seven games. Um, it's a good coaching matchup. I think it's a good goalie matchup. And I think the teams uh, match up really well, uh, not just on paper, but on the ice. Um, throughout the year, right, they played each other throughout the year, you know, and some of those games were pretty tight games. So I, I think this is going to be one of those games where whoever whoever scores last is going to win, but I'm kind of thinking it's going to be St. Louis. I'm calling all seven games. We're going to need all games. Oh. Seven yeah, games, okay. seven games for this one. Yeah, I think we're going to need all games for this one. So okay. I think this one's going to be I think this one's going to be a little closer than people are thinking. Um, I, that's just how I feel. Just that's just a feeling I get with this one. I don't know. It I can't. Sort of a, it, it is one of those series. that almost feels like you got to go by feel. Uh, Joe, what do, yeah. you, what do you feel? Uh, <laughs> I think uh, St. Louis, actually, because of. They have the experience of the cup. I think I said it before the video. The Bruins physically didn't have the guys there to get their legs under them because they weren't there yet. They came in late for unforeseen circumstances. The Blues have an older team that just kind of needs to get going, and I think they will. And that veteran presence and pedigree is probably going to help them against Vancouver because they have good talent. But you got huge who hasn't been in the playoffs before who's going to stand out. Yuli Evi, who's a good young player, but you don't know how he's going to perform at this in this type of performance at a young age and then troy stretcher is just a solid defenseman uh tyler myers is obviously a great pickup but like their defense is guys also that 
have been inconsistent on the defensive end and have been great on the offensive end more for Vancouver the, other than Alexander Edler, who's obviously a very good veteran, and then Tadnev, pretty good on both ends because their defensive numbers have been, that's what I think is also going to hurt the Canucks pretty bad this year. The goals allowed is 19th in the league, and that's because they also allow the shots on goals allowed is 28th. So they don't help their goalies much. And I was at a game this year before every before everything obviously went awry with the was against the Canucks. And you see that. When we played the Canucks, the Canucks is like, let's hope our goaltender does something to bail us out and then we'll get going. Like it's uh, it's not a successful system, I think, against a veteran team. I believe in their young coach going forward. I think it's just youngsters need to get get real first, and this is the series yeah. that's going to make them get real. They're going to be like, damn, okay, this is what the playoffs is. We like, I think that's what Pedersen and others on the Canucks are going to get. Oh, Julie Evy, Quinn Hughes, I think from this series are going to get that, damn, this is what the playoffs is. Now we know for next year, and we're going to come back here with vengeance. So I think it's going to be six games, I'll say St. Louis. It'll be six games. I mean, they were 1-1-1 one, one, and one against them in the regular season this yeah. year. So I, it's that's why I think it's going to go seven games or or six either one I think whoever's going to I think it's going to come down to like whoever is the last one to score yeah. or the win the game is going to be the one that's going to take this series. I just you know feel I mean? in a series guys that are more veteran touted are going to step up more in a whole series if youngsters start struggling like you we have like usually you're not going to have just because it's your first year knowing the adjustments to make yet. As a kid, yeah. that going okay. Yeah. I'm gonna like you have to be Cal McCarr or Quinn Hughes to be able to do that, and they have Hughes, but their defense, like I said, Myers has actually looked like been inconsistent on the defensive end this year. He's been a good defenseman, but he just hasn't been the guy you would hope in your own zone or not in your own your defensive side. And then, I mean, Tanev's a good defenseman. I always thought that he was a more of a second line defenseman than a first line defenseman, but uh, yeah. a lot of people think otherwise. So. Um, he's a good defenseman. Edler, obviously, is the veteran prowess you have. So I just think that the veteran presence of the Blues is going to do kind of what Chicago did to Edmonton. Yeah. And uh, they're going to take advantage of the youngsters of the Canucks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like the article that you did uh, with the goalie comparisons, too. Uh, because oh, it, well, this one's big because the one guy's a free agent. <laughs> that's but that's what I mean. But um, I think that's going to be another key factor in this game too, because it doesn't seem like it really matters if it's uh, Bennington or Allen back there for the Blues. It, it's going to be you know, we'll see. Um, I think that's going to be a key matchup as well too. That's going to be a deciding factor. If you if you're not going to be able to crack the the goalie net, that that's and if it becomes a goalie showdown. You know what I mean? I think it, it does have that potential. Yeah, I think Markstrom's going to earn himself a contract from this series, even if they lose, because they're going to lose in six games. It's not going to be because of him. Uh, yeah. He had three quality starts, I believe, out of the four. The one he still won that wasn't a quality start in the first round. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. He lost the one that actually was, I think. So, that was <laughs> one. so, I mean, that goes to show what happens there sometimes with your skull support. But yeah, the... Yeah, I think he's going to get himself a good payday regardless. I just think they're going to end up losing, and it's not going to be because of him. It's kind of going to be like how Grubauer had good numbers last year for the Abs, but they lost. Sometimes yeah. goal, like you, you go with sometimes put numbers, but lose. Yeah, yeah, you know, Perla, what do you? What, come on, man, lay us some wisdom, man. I know you're you thinking know something. I'm really split um, because you look at St. Louis's roster, and there's so many guys I love on their roster, like Oscar Sundquist. More, one yeah. of the most, probably the most underrated player in the league. Like, I just love, maybe not the most, but he's one of them for sure. He's amazing. I love Oscar Sundquist. And, uh, you know, Ryan O'Reilly, Selkie Awards, Vladimir Tarasenko. Uh, they've got some de good young players like Robert Thomas. Uh, Ivan Barbashev left the bubble. I don't know if he came back yet or not. Um, but I like the roster. Um, I'm not as big on their defense as a lot of people are. Uh, I Peter Angelo and Pareko, okay. But, but when you get into the Falks, Scandellos, Gun Gunnarsons, and Bertuzzos, I love Vince Dunn. I love Vince Yeah, Dunn. yeah, yeah. Um, I was just about getting, to say that. I thought you did love Vince Dunn. I was okay. There we yeah, go. Yeah, I love Vince Dunn. I love Vince Dunn. 
I think it's it might be kind of a wash as far as defense is concerned between the two. My problem, and the reason why I, I'm saying Vancouver for now, and that's all I can say. I have to pick one. I was going to have a question, though, because you brought up Scandella. He actually was someone that looked decent in their struggle of the first round. If he continues to look decent, do you think that gives them the advantage on defense then? Maybe slightly. Yeah. Marco Scandella's good. Yeah. He's a good defenseman. He's a good defenseman, but he he's just – yeah. He's just yeah. not eh. – there's, no, there's not much – He's not that there, sexy game. There, there's, not much complex, <laughs> he, there's not much complexity to that to that defense. Okay, but he was I, a plus 14 for the, for the season, though. Yeah. So that's right. not – that's – they say plus minus doesn't mean much, and in his case, it doesn't. He's, he's, he's an average. Petrangelo. He's an average yeah, way, way. I think Scandella, though, uh, what would weigh more for him would be what his uh, Corsi and all, what his possession numbers are, and yeah. I don't have that yeah. all right in front of me. Yeah, really. I don't either. I think no. he's average. He's an average he's, defenseman. Yeah, he's an average, yeah. Carl Gunnarsson's an average defenseman. Todd Bertuzzo's an average defenseman. They bring some stuff. Like uh, oh, actually, Scandella this year, if he continues to play like this year, then they might have a slight advantage. Corsi 451.5 is pretty good. Uh, OZS is a 50.3, which is the offensive zone's uh, fate, the offensive zone star percentage, excuse me. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, he's pretty solid for that. So maybe they have a, it's, but like you said, it would be like, I mean, it's just, I give them the advantage for the veteran presence more so. I think youngsters are more likely to, if you make one mistake, you're going to be like, damn. And then, like, you're going to not be able to adjust as good as a Paranko, a, a Petrangelo, a, even if a Folk makes a mistake. Because <laughs> he's been in the league, even though he doesn't work as well with their scheme. He's still been in the league. Um, and then Scandella bounces back from mistakes all the time. We talked how he's just one of those simple, easy defensemen. Uh, whenever- I have him on my team. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, especially at what? He's only making two, 3.2. That's not bad. Uh, but uh, my thing has been Bennington and Allen, and it's been a problem this year for the St. Louis Blues. They've gotten by in the regular season because of all the reasons you said, and they've got a strong roster all the way through. It's simply goaltending, and um, I think Vancouver is a team that can really expose a goaltender who's not playing at their best. They've got some great shooters on that team. Brock Besser yeah. and Pedersen and Toffoli and all of those guys like that. And I like their pushback a lot. Um, however, I'm really... If yeah, Lewis this wins, is a I, tough one to pick. If yeah. St. Louis wins, I'm like, yeah. And if Vancouver wins, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> And, you know, well, I had a yeah. question though. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say though. Yeah, one yeah. thing I had a question for was though with Bennington, I feel like he's one of those goalies that's like, here's just like adrenaline meter, and when it's like the regular season, it's here, and then when it kicks in, it's like here because it seems like that's what happened last year, and a round robin, that's exactly what happened. Just like they said with no. uh, Marshan, is not going to get that feeling out of you. So. I think in the first round, tonight's the night we're going to really see what we're getting from him. And if he comes out and looks money, then that's problematic. Hey, Lewis for the yeah. Which is why, which is why I said, yeah. If he looks yeah. money, then, then yeah. St. Louis wins handily, I would say. Which is why I said, if that first game, if St. Louis comes out and Bennington looks really good, and they play really well, and they win. Well, they win that game. It all it all depends. If they come out and they win the game three to two, and it goes into overtime or something like that, then I'm not going to be as confident, you know. But if they come out and just smoke them, you know what I mean? Then then yeah yeah. I, I I'm with you guys a hundred percent. I think St. Louis should be should come out on the end. I just think it's going to be seven games. Uh, We'll see. Could be, yeah, it could be. Yeah. Yeah, we'll it, see. This is the one of those ones that could be all over the board. If Bennington comes out and plays like we know that he has played, it could be in five. If, or if, four. If, if four. You know, I right? Mean, if, yeah. If Bennington's not super strong, St. Louis could still win this in seven. Markstrom could be the one that is the goaltender that mm-hmm. makes the, you know, that's the other thing. Markstrom has been playing very, very well this year and getting better and better as the year goes on so it, this is a very up in the air series that i have a very difficult time picking. so so, so perlo i got a question for you then so what are you telling your folks 
Are you telling them to stay away from this one? Oh, or, yeah, I don't. I generally don't bet, tell my clients to bet series. Um, last, the last ones I said, I gave them Columbus small pearls. I like to call them. Uh, <laughs> Uh, not too many pearls on it. And uh, okay. the New York Islanders, though, I was very bullish on. So I gave, I gave okay. it to them. Yeah. Okay. All right. But generally speaking, I stay away from series for the reasons we see. In yeah, the no, I know. I was just thinking. I was just thinking because we were talking the last one about how you would actually advise folks to, to do the, the Philly season or the Philly yeah. uh, series. That but game, bad if I just want to know. <laughs> I don't know you how know, much juice you're getting on it. Or, like, yeah. 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 But uh, I, I, just, I would uh, sure that that I I I would be I don't know what I would do I I would do um, with Montreal fans there should be some sort of dare that if you're out there you can do a dare or not Montreal yeah Montreal fans I'll do a dare any dare you want that Montreal doesn't win you pick it I'll do it put it in the comment section tell me what I got to do that's how sure I am about whoa it. Oh, we might have to get back to you on that one. <laughs> if you can find something out there, if, if I if, if Philadelphia. So you're picking. Wait there, tonight. All right, just so we can get clarification on this now, you're picking Vancouver to win, right? I, or are you yeah, saying this? I, if I have to pick okay. one, I guess I'll say. All right, that. So you're picking I Vancouver. Like a slight even, lean. Yeah. I don't feel. Yeah. Very comfortable I, I'm, I'm picking I'm Vancouver, but I'm leaning St. Louis. Yeah. Okay. I don't. I don't know. Okay, so if if Vancouver wins, then you have to whatever the comments oh, say. Are we going to dare that? No, 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 no. He, he, was, Vancouver doing, one? he was doing the. He was talking. I'm about saying it. Philly, Montreal. If there's any Montreal fans out there that want to do a dare, where I got to do something and you got to do something. Oh, 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 oh! We're talking about the Philly game. Oh, okay. Absolutely. About this game. Philly. I'll do a dare on Philly. Any Montreal fans out there want to do it there, you tell me all about it. And talk well, about tell us all about it. Tell us all about what your picks are for these series here in the bottom. That's the end of our series of this uh, for the, this first round. And uh, this is going to be fun. I, uh, I think it's, this, this has been fun. I'm so glad to have hockey back. Very excited. Steel, <laughs> tell everybody about this fine website you got up and everything else you got going, my friend. Well, we're trying to get a bunch of stuff going. We got a website going. We got a YouTube channel going. We got podcasts going. We got all kinds of fun stuff. But you can go to one place and get it all in one stop, steelflyers.com. Um, you can follow these guys, the likes of Joe Boric, the likes of Pearl of Wisdom. You can get linked to all of their videos, all their great articles, all their great stuff. Um, and you can follow me on Twitter. Uh, it's Steel Flyers 52. But you really need to follow these guys. You really need to check them out. You really need to subscribe and let us know in the comments what you all think, please. Thank you very much for having me. Yeah. Joe? Yeah. Uh, well, first of all, I would like to say uh, for anybody that saw me looking back, that's because my dog's been in my room with me because we've had weather. So that's why I've been looking behind me sometimes during the last two videos. Hey, she's allowed to join. Uh, she's allowed to join. So Just so people know. So they're not like, what the hell is he looking back? Uh, but uh, <laughs> I do stuff for Pub Sports, Overtime Heroics, Flyers Nitty Gritty, Sports Fanatic News we have, and then the True Philadelphian Sportscast that – these fine gentlemen, as well as the Sports Fanatic news page, always appear on. And love talking hockey, It's and I love uh, doing this daily now with uh, you two, basically. And it's been amazing, and hopefully <laughs> we continue to have these fun yeah. series to watch. Not a five-overtime game, but a fun game to watch. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Islanders game. So enjoy all the hockey, everyone. Yeah, man, for yeah. sure. Thank you for coming and watching us, and uh, have a great day. Lots of love to ya.